ripe. I think it's ripe. It smells so sweet. I am not gonna lie to you. I have felt quite stressed these past couple of days. It suddenly hit me. I don't know why. My we're like flicking melon everywhere. Yeah, my stress suddenly became quite apparent and I'm stressed now. Mm. Like I have been stressed before, but I've been managing it okay. But now I just, you know, it's just getting a bit out of hand. That was the other day. So I am going to try and actively calm down a bit. And I think the dryness of my hands and my whole body in general, my shriveled plum look, it gets worse definitely when I'm stressed. That's a sign. Also another sign is like I start to get not like full blown nosebleeds, but mini ones. My life being stressed is great fun. Everyone's symptoms of stress are different. You've got to obviously know what yours are and then you've got to try and work to stay not stressed. Easier said than done. I was feeling a bit better yesterday. It was the day before yesterday when I suddenly was like, oh my God. I'm quite happy eating melon right now though. Here's to a non-stressed day. Currently eating more food. Melon is not breakfast. That's like a pre-breakfast. I've just been working on these flashcards. This is like one topic that I would honestly love to come up. So this year, it's honestly ridiculous. I think that's why I'm suddenly feeling quite like, oh my gosh, because first year and second year, we had supervisors throughout the whole year. And you know, they'd tell you about what topics you can safely drop or how many you can drop because you're guaranteed to have another question. All this stuff. They have seen the past papers. They know how the system works and they can tell you that. This year, I've literally had very few supervisions and all of them have been with different lecturers. They don't tell you about exam format. They just tell you about how they would like you to answer their questions, which is all fine. But when you have basically a new lecturer for every single lecture, there's no kind of continuity and they all expect you to do extra reading for their topics. It becomes impossible and every topic is equally likely to come up. So it's like you can't really safely drop anything and that is why i think i am freaking out of it i am trying to learn as much as i can and you know brain capacity storage capacity is finite so obviously i'm trying to like focus on some topics um and learn those really really well but it's like i could get a set of say three questions and I, that i have to pick from and all of them could be on topics that I haven't really done that much extra reading for because I've tried to prioritise other things. I just think it's completely random. It's like so scary. Anyway, today was supposed to be a non-stress day, so I need to open the window a bit. It's feeling a little bit hot in here. I just wish someone could tell me like, Holly, you can drop this safely, but there's no one to give me that reassurance. So it's just me on my own here, trying to do as much as I can. Life is hard. I don't know how I like saying that, but basically in previous years, we have had say lecture series that have gone on over a couple of weeks. So we've had the same lecturer for about maybe 10 lectures sometimes. And that's like one bulk topic, but this year it just hasn't happened like that. It's every lecture series is one lecture. So it's like, we've had so many more lecture series. So there's so much more scope, but at the same time, there is so much more detail. So they're expecting you to go like deep, and wide and like you can't do both anyway enough of me moaning well, not moaning me just being like it's very stressful and a burden on your brain <laughs> the other day i decided to get these root huff puffed oats and i was like oats puffed that just sounds so good and it's literally just oats ah i thought they weren't gonna be in a plastic thing oh, actually i'm a bit of an idiot you can see there Ooh. Almond milk, banana. Mmm, it's so good with the almond milk. It's just like subtly sweet. I love it. Food is literally what makes me happy and just keeps me going through a vision as food, which I'm sure a lot of people can relate to. I have just finished making these little flashcards. So I'm gonna stop now to have lunch because it's like half one my lips are drying out again oh yeah i was gonna say this wall a lot of you keep asking me i did mention it in one of my vlogs when i first came back but yeah, i will essentially explain what's going on so i don't really think it's gonna grow that much more because i prefer using flashcards over this wall thing but they're just like flashcards but on a wall so i've just pinned them up it's nothing more than that. So yeah, it's just more stuff to remember. I'm just surrounded by work everywhere. But yeah, that's essentially my flashcards wall. I don't know what else you'd call it. All I need to keep me going, as I said, is food. And in particular, my favorite things in the world ever, cacao nibs. Don't even get me hyped on cacao nibs. I honestly 
freaking love them. And if you know me, you'll know that far too well. Cacao nibs, oh my gosh. I love them. Thank the world for cacao nibs. Here it is. I have my go-to things, and right now when I don't have the brain space to think about other things and being creative with food, I just have my go-to stuff. It's also a really nice day outside. Look. I look at that sunshine and that blue sky. Look at that. Right, so I've just been flashing through the flashcards. I'm trying to sort out the rings. This is quite a big watch. You've got some mini ones in there, but they're now all in an order and they are all together. I was obviously revising topics and then put some things in a flashcard and then I must have put other things in different flashcards. So I'm just like bringing it all together. And thank goodness I have loads of these rings. They're super useful. It's like custom designed flashcards. I honestly love flashcards because they're just like small bits of information that you can learn and you can visualize at once because sometimes it is quite overwhelming if you're trying to learn like this. This whole piece of paper is like crammed full. I mean, I love my plain paper notes and everything, but you know, when you really gotta learn something, flashcards is probably the best way to go. And yes, learn it from the notes, but when you're actually trying to like really cram it, flashcards flashcards all the way. I did a video quite recently about what I write in flashcards so I can link that below or on the screen or something. I might go on a run. I went on a run yesterday and the day before. I did two really long runs, like 8k. I kind of want to go outside though. It's such a nice day so I might do a shorter run and then go and do some stuff in the gym afterwards. I'll do that. Ooh, stretch my man. Yeah so these are my flashcards. They're all in like their little families. They have all found their little squads. So this is like all one topic. This is another topic, you know, you get me. Just trying to do a bit of organization. There are some still here as well. I know that one's like been organized for ages. I like those ones. This one, different topic, different subject, different subject. Um, so yeah. Oh, wow. Holly, congratulations. You actually sweat quite a lot. It was quite a lot of sweat, not gonna lie. I basically went on a run. I went on like just over 5k. I did 8k the past two days as I said and I was like, I'm not doing 8k again. I went on a 5k run then I went back to the gym. Oh my gosh, it was so hot and sweaty in there and so humid. I think that's why I sweat so much. Because obviously when you're running, it's all like evaporating. When I went in the gym, it was so humid and I was like, oh my gosh. But then like, yeah, I did some like hit in the gym. Yeah, it felt really good. But the thing is, the stupid thing is, is that my lips are so incredibly dry still. They're like cracked and... <laughs> Yeah, I've got like cuts on my lips and I saw Eliza when I was on my run, she was on her bike and I was like, oh my gosh, Eliza, and I couldn't open my mouth. It's that time when I just like, it like hurts to open my mouth because it's all cracked. And that normally happens in winter, not the summer. Um, my hands are also really dry as well. It normally gets better in the summer. This is what I mean, I put it down to stress. Anyway, oh wow. I actually need to clean my retainers. It's the worst thing in the world. I mentioned this in a very recent video about cleaning retainers and how I really don't like doing it. I normally leave it till the end of the day and I'm like, oh, the retainers, and it's just the worst thing. So I'm gonna do it now. It like smells of vinegar because I do it in distilled vinegar. Anyway, um, what was I gonna mention? Oh yeah, so this video kind of wanted to de-stress. Obviously, there are lots of ways that you could do that. But I think it's just finding what works best for you. Like I mentioned previously, you might want to do some like art or something or draw. For me personally, one of the big things, I don't think I've mentioned this before. I talk to myself quite a bit um, because I am on my own quite a lot and in my room. I have to take on the responsibility of de-stressing myself and like being the mother of myself while my hands are red. I have to be like, Holly, calm down. I've mentioned myself a lot in third person anyway and I think that's maybe where I get it from because I say Holly a lot in videos and posts and a lot of people are like, why do you mention yourself in third person? 
but I do actually talk to myself. I'm like calm down, Holly. I tell myself physically out loud. It actually helps because I tell myself to breathe as well. I'm like, and yeah, it kind of helps. So I talk to myself. Um, also for me, um, I have to get fresh air. So I go on the walk sometimes. I also um, go outside in the fresh air, like do exercise in the fresh air. I work out. Also finding home, which I do every day. Look after myself as much as I can. Like make sure I'm eating enough, obviously. And enough of like all the micro and micronutrients that I need. So yeah, just in general looking after myself. I do compromise a bit. So like at the moment I am lacking a bit on sleep. But I think the adrenaline and the stress is just making me get up and get on i know that after exams i will literally feel so exhausted but yeah i do try and make sure i get at least seven or eight hours sleep i really do try and aim for that at the moment it's more so on the seven hours which is a bit annoying but it's still a decent amount like it's not three or four which would be ridiculous because you need sleep to function yeah i think it's better to get enough sleep as opposed to trying to cram so much because it probably won't go in when you're tired anyway but yeah that's just a little bit of advice if you're stressed and you're trying to de-stress like find what works best for you but for me it's definitely like the things that i said cleaning routines is definitely not one of them but it's something that has to be done i really did not like my teeth before i got braces they weren't like ridiculously bad but I had canines that were literally like all the way up in my gums. It was really funny. So I get all times. So yeah, um, I hope you guys, if you have started your exams, I hope they are going well. And I wish you all good luck if you are doing exams from me. This might be a bit late, but literally I'm thinking of you guys. You can only do your best. That's the thing you gotta remember. There are a few things, quite a lot of things that are getting me through exams. You know when you're revising, all you can think of is everything that you could be doing other than revision, but it gets you through I suppose. You like power through because you want to get to the other side of exams. There are quite a few things I'm so excited about and one of them I want to kind of tell you about. So essentially if you've watched the video where I talk about what I'm going to do after graduation. I said that I wanted to, you know, like travel the world. I am quite an open-minded individual and I have become so much more open-minded, but I still have not seen or experienced different things, different cultures and people and places and traveling is something I really, really want to do. I said that I was extremely scared to do it on my own, but I'm in the process, guys. I'm so excited of working with Isaac. It's a non-profit organization and it is student-led. It operates all around the world, so it's international and it allows you to volunteer abroad in different countries and even do internships. So I'm in the process of working with Isaac to sort out a project for me to go and volunteer volunteer abroad this summer. I'm not going to say where I'm going yet. They want to basically encourage young people to take the opportunity to go to different places, do something good for the world, to learn valuable skills, develop leadership skills and become a better version of yourself. Those are the aims of Isaac and I am so so grateful that I am able to work with Isaac and actually go abroad and travel and see the world but also at the same time volunteer and make a difference. It's obviously like such an amazing opportunity and I'm so excited. So yeah that is one of the very exciting things that I am just super hyped about. So this is their website it's Isaac.com org yeah you just click get started and you can choose to volunteer or do an internship if you want to volunteer which is what i'm doing and then you choose where you want to go say like let's put brazil all of their volunteer projects are related to the millennium development goals and yeah you can just explore so many different projects you can check out isec down below if you want to do that it's very easy to sign up you just make a profile and then you choose your projects i am not being paid to say this but i am working kind of in a partnership with Isaac. Can you imagine me somewhere other than the UK? Oh, I'm just so excited. When I say beans, what do you say? I mean, uh, um, oh. when you when I say rice, <laughs> what are you trying to say? When I say rice, what do you say? Beans. Yeah, beans. <laughs> you can't get that way. I wouldn't have got it. I just said chickpeas. I don't even beans. No, no. I love chickpeas. Oh yeah, she also loves getting jumped really wet and splatters. Oh yeah, I know. I'm a bit of a mess, really. You are. So you've seen me make this a million times. It's such a holy meal, and it's so simple and easy, and it might be quite boring to you, but as I said before, like I just want to eat what I like to eat and just simple, quick meals. To me, this is like the best meal ever: chickpeas and rice. I love it so much. We've got brown rice. Loads of veg, 
some salatka, which is that Polish stuff, chickpeas, and then tahini. I just put some tahini over it. So yeah, that is uh, the bowl of the day. I would have made something with like the chickpeas, onion, and mushroom maybe, but you know, today was just simple and quick. This is the salatka stuff. Do you guys know I love? I also have my pickled gherkins, love them, and sauerkraut, but we went for the salatka today. This is good milk. Chocolate and coconut. Love that. I will um, speak to you soon. Hopefully everything's going to be okay. I hope you enjoyed this video, like it if you did, and all that jazz, and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye guys.